I uh, just wanted to get your thoughts on Rakeem and, and Traylon Smith play the last couple of weeks. Both of those guys have had fairly big days on the ground for you. Yeah, I think that they've had uh, – in that running game opens up a lot of the things that we do in the RPO, the passing game. I think those guys have done a great job of just running hard, doing what they're asked, and then, um, you know, getting those harder and uh, extra yards when it's needed. Um, and, you know, those yards don't come easy. So they've done a great job getting hard or hard earned yards when they run. So they've done a really good job. Both of them. And in protection also they've done a really good job. Trey. Hey Felipe, obviously when you came to Arkansas, Florida wasn't on the schedule then because of COVID, they're on the schedule. Um, I would I want to ask how many tickets in a non-COVID season would you need for this game to satisfy all your friends and family that would want to be there? Uh, I don't know. Family comes first, one. Um, but, um, you know, and then I don't even know, man. I mean, I have a bunch of – I mean, obviously, we're from right down the road, Tallahassee. So, um, my mom and dad and a bunch of family will be there, but not too many people. You know, try to keep under, like, 10, something like that. Touch. Yeah, Felipe, I was wondering what your reaction was when you found out about Coach Pittman testing positive, and, and have you noticed any differences at all in, in practice or meetings or anything like that? Yeah, uh, I thought it was obviously not the ideal situation with Coach Pittman, but uh, practice has been the same. Practice, the guys come out, they're motivated. It's another big week, great opportunity for our team. Um, and then these guys do a great job every day coming out motivated, not needing any extra motivation, um, coming out here and going to work and getting the job done, knowing that the game isn't one on Saturday. It's one in in between the week, in between uh, you know Saturday. So uh, it's important that we go get that work uh, the work in. And those guys have done a great job of you know not not letting it cloudy our minds and keep going to work. So, Brandon. Yeah, Felipe. I just wanted to, to wondered what it's like as a quarterback to be part of the Florida program in 2018 where you were right in the center of getting that back up to top 10 worthy consideration and winning 10 games in 2018 to now being at Arkansas where you've let it turn around and, and it's become the hot story in the SEC. Can you compare the two and how strange is it to be part of two big stories like that, two different programs in the same conference? Um, you know, I don't think I'd sit there and compare it. That wouldn't be fair to sit here and try to compare it. But um, I do think that it's uh, like, I, don't, I mean, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, I mean, just being the competitor that I am, I mean, just being able to be a part of those stories is, is awesome. But, you know, I try to live and, and do my work day by day. Um, and then right now, just being a part of this journey with this team to, to, to finish out the season strong and to go out there and change things around here and the culture around here. Uh, it's important for me right this second. And um, and that's what my main focus is on and to win games. And uh, that's always been my main focus so ever since I've been playing is just to win. Um, and that's just me being the ultimate competitor. But being a part of both stories is awesome. And, um, you know, it's a blessing at the end of the day. Um. Flip, I want to ask you about your progress from, from a maturity standpoint in the last year or so. Uh, talk to some folks at Florida and they said there was a lot of – a lot of criticism and how you dealt with the criticism down there and maybe in the last year, how you matured from that side. Yeah. You, um, I mean, just, you know, I think, I think uh, wisdom comes through eight or wisdom comes through experience, not age um, in my opinion, personal opinion. And I think that just going through certain experiences, learning how to, to learning how to grow up at some point. And that's not just necessarily saying, Hey, this kid's immature, but maybe there's different aspects of his game that, he needs to improve on. And I think just taking all those and running with it, super important to me, uh, being able to take constructive criticism and know that somebody's not always getting onto you, but trying to help you, it just depending on how the outlook you have on it. And um, that was important to me. And um, everybody, everybody always has room to grow. We all have room to grow. So nobody's perfect. That's the way I look at it. Mike. There are uh, fans who've called in and asked us if we had a chance to talk to you. They're going to the game. They don't know anything about Gainesville. They want to know where you hung out, what you what to do when you're in town, what you like to do. Give them some tips. In Gainesville? Yeah. Uh, I was in Gainesville. I mean, it depends. I like to go to a bunch of different places. Uh, 
I mean, I think the university, that's just the main road, is pretty cool. It's pretty eventful, always something buzzing around there, around campus, good places to eat. You know, I don't know. It's, it's a good spot, a good little spot for just activity. So. Hi. Yeah, Felipe, it looked like in a red zone position uh, this past week, you either got rolled up on or I don't know if you're clutching your knee or your ankle. Um, how's your body feeling heading into this game? I feel good. I feel good. Um, you know, getting late into the season, I think that everybody as a whole body isn't the greatest. Um, you know, when you play long seasons, especially a 10, 10 game SEC schedule, it's not going to be the best, but at the same time, that's when, you know, that's when you got to be able to mentally tap in and, and go harder and go out there and still practice because everybody's hurt and, and everybody's sore. So it's just about going out there and still competing when things are always in your favor, like your body. All right, let me know if you can get more. Hutch. Felipe, looking at these numbers, Florida has, has given up uh, some passing yards this year. It's not really common for them. What's your take on, on, the, on the Gators' defense? Yeah, I thought they played well. I thought Coach Grantham I've had a chance to be around him. I think he's an awesome coach. All those guys on the defensive staff, uh, I think they're really good coaches. And I think we got a great opportunity just for us, focusing on our offense, focusing on us as a whole to go down there and, and play a really good team. Um, obviously, a top five team in the country. Um, and we got a great opportunity to go down there and showcase our offense and how we perform. And, um, and Crispin's, some, I don't know if that's a word, but. Uh, just tighten some things up um, in our offense. So I think that's what it's mainly about for us. Uh, but yes, I think they got a really, you know, really good defense. They got obviously really good players. Um, I've had a chance to be around all those guys, really good players, motivated and coached really well. So excited to get, to be able to play against really good competition. Week in and week out, that's what you expect. Um, Flippin, when you look at y'all's overall total offense, total defense numbers, they don't just blow you away but you guys are winning games. And I'm wondering if there's some um, hidden numbers or just things like that that have allowed you guys to be winning games that don't show up statistically necessarily. Yeah, I don't think that you have to have necessarily really good statistics to win games, uh, in my opinion. Um, so I think just executing, you know, you don't always gotta do something flashy, um, but you know, the, the, the objective at the end of the day is to win and whatever you do or can do, to help the team to get that done is important. And I think that we use everybody on the team, whether it's, whether no matter what your job is, motivating, whatever your job is, just do it to the best of your ability and um, you got a chance to go out there and win. So, yeah, I think that you don't necessarily always have to have flashing hours to win games, so. Ty. Felipe, you're basically top six in the SEC in every statistical major passing court category. Um, Jim Nagy, who's the director of the Senior Bowl, had some good things to say about you, some things he's heard from some NFL execs. I know you're not necessarily active on social media, but when you see stuff like that or when you hear stuff like that, how do you block all that out and stay focused on the task ahead? Yeah, I think you just be mentally strong. I think it's just it's easy – uh, in a world of distractions um, to get distracted about this or get distracted about that, whether it's a good or bad distraction, I think it's in a world of distractions, it's easy for that to happen. Um, but just staying focused at this test, like the, staying focused on the task at hand is important. Uh, the task at hand is, and Saturday we will be in Gainesville and is the, to go win. And so um, anything that's other than that is, is un, you know what I mean? It's, it's a distraction. So, um, and you know, I don't try not to focus on that stuff. I just try to be tunnel vision onto what is going to help us win uh, throughout the week. That's my main focus. I'm trying to focus on anything other than that. Week in and week out, just winning. Brandon. Uh, Felipe, I was just wondering, when was the last time you got the chance to chat with Kyle Trask and how would you describe your relationship with him, you know, since, since you left Florida? Because I understand you guys were, you know, um, I guess buds and got along pretty well when you were there. Yeah, we did get along pretty well. I thought that we always competed. Uh, I mean, we were there four years together, always competed. Um, I mean, he drove me to get better and I, I hopefully drove him to get better. Um, and he's playing really well uh, as well as their team. So I'm excited to get down there and, and, and play uh, my first time playing against them, which will be fun. Um, but our relationship's good. Our relationship's good. We're both competitors, but 
you know, at the end of the day, you know, one person's going to win and one person's going to lose. And, you know, so that's our main goal right now, just to go win. But we have a really good uh, relationship. Curtis. Hey, Felipe, a quick two-parter for you. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of familiarity there with you and those guys at Florida. So have your current teammates been picking your brain at all, trying to get a little scouting report or, or maybe some tendencies on those Florida guys? And then on the flip side, knowing that they're very familiar with you, does that make you feel like you need to throw in some new wrinkles or change your approach at all going into the game? Uh, no. So to answer your first question, um, you know, I just try to be a, a helpful in any way possible that I can. Um, so if those guys do have questions, they come up and ask me. I don't mind whatever um, sharing. But obviously, it's a, new, it's a new year as well. So, you know, schematics change over year to year. And, um, you know, for me, I think that, you know, they'll scheme against our offense, uh, hopefully. I mean, they will. And so I don't know. I don't think it's too much of um, trying to scheme around me or us trying to do too much. It's just, you know, just go out there and just execute what the coaches are saying. The coaches do a great job here and uh, here is scheming up, you know, what we need to do to be successful on Saturdays. And I think we just following that plan um, will give us a really good chance to go out there and win this coming up Saturday. But, you know, if anybody needs help, I'm always open book. So, yeah. Last one, Scotty. Hey, Felipe, before you came in, we were talking to Ricky Stromberg. What's your rapport with him and what's it been like watching him develop since you got to campus? Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, I love Ricky. I think he's a hard worker. I think he comes every day, man, uh, and just works his tail off. And being able to be the center and lead um, all those guys on the front, the way he does, the way he goes about his business. And, um, you know, I love that about him. And I think that's the first thing that I always see in a person is how ambitious are they? Um, you know, how do they go about their business? And Ricky's a guy that it's, it doesn't ever change. It's day in and day out. He goes about his business in the right way. Great person, um, takes care of his other, you know, other teammates. and. It's a great guy to be around, great teammate, you know, a guy that I would want to go to war with. Um, so I like Ricky. I like the way he's developing. Um, I think that not even just me, Coach Davis, Coach Pittman, I think a lot of the guys, everybody will say that about Ricky. Really good dude and a really good player. Thanks, Felipe. Thanks.